Welcome back to Indigo Smokes Tarot and Astrology. I am Alexis. Um, for the purposes of this channel, I do go by Indigo. Um, I am doing a reading for the collective just in regards to the coronavirus um, pandemic. I'm sure all of us have heard of that by now. I just want to kind of get spiritual clarity going in, all of that good stuff. Just like what messages does the collective need um, while we're going through this like mass you know, hysteria where everyone is pretty much quarantined. So, uh, I'm using quite a few different oracle decks and tarot decks. So, um, yeah, if you are interested in any kind of spiritual knowledge or messages in regards to the virus, how it's going to affect um, the world in the long term, anything like that, I don't know what's going to come up in the reading, honestly. I'm just kind of seeing what happens. Um, but yeah, so that's what this reading is for. So stay tuned if you are interested in that, right? Alright, this is, these are two separate oracle decks that I basically like mixed together. So my shuffling is going to be a little bit weird, <laughs> okay? Alright, so. Alright, Divine Hair Powers, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Divine Ancestors, and Spirit Guides of the Collective. What messages does the Collective need in regards to the coronavirus at this time? So just as a collective need in regards to the coronavirus at this time, what do we need to know? Oh, also, I shuffled everything off camera before. Okay, this card came out in the pre-show for it as well. Alright, any more messages for the collective in regards to the coronavirus? Okay. <laughs> this is so fucking hilarious. So we got four cards. Because I'm using so many different decks, I'm just going to keep it there. Let me look at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So, four cards came out. The first card is a nine. Time to go. Second is the Emperor Authority. Uh, the third card is the Ace of Swords. And this is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So, this card, like I said, it came out in the pre-shuffle. This is basically just, <laughs> basically, Earth, collectively, all of us humans, um, everyone and everything inhabiting Earth is going through a transition period. We are kind of being forced out of old paradigms, old energies. Um, think of this as kind of like a wake-up call for the collective, um, both on a mundane level as well as a spiritual level. And time to go is just talking about that energy of everything that needed to be done that needed to be experienced in a certain aspect of your life or just collectively things are phasing out and it's time for new energy to come in okay i always say in my readings that nines and tens talk about things being near completion and with this being here and i'm going to tie this into the other ones and i'll, I'll explain why i laughed when i seen it but essentially what this virus is doing collectively, it's forcing people out of old and stagnant situations. It's forcing people to become more self-aware, um, forcing people to either have to sink, sink or swim, basically. Um, anything that's old and outdated, it has to go. And this is basically a time where obviously we're secluded. <laughs> so we're leaving a lot of things, we're leaving jobs, things are changing. Um, I feel like this card really coincides with the authority card, the Emperor. The Emperor is the archetype of power and authority. So this time to go energy also refers to like the government or um, just the paradigm of authority that we've been under up until this point. It's time for things to phase out within as well, which is why you see so many CEOs and politicians, you know, just stepping down. You know, it's time for something new to come in. And I do feel like this energy is talking about, you know, things happening on a political, on a government level. Things are being phased out in that aspect as well. So this, um, <laughs> the virus has a way of kind of humbling everybody and putting everyone on the same playing field. And it's a matter of whether you are going to 
um, make use of this downtime, make use of this seclusion, and make it count, make it worth something to the best of your abilities. Because let's say, for example, a lot of people have, um, most of us except for, you know, like people who work at the grocery stores, people who are absolutely people who absolutely have to work right now, everybody has to sit down. And so, like I said, that's kind of forcing you into like a hangman energy of having to see things from a new perspective, having to surrender because this is literally out of your control and having to make do with the downtime they were in to see, you know, when it, when all of the hysteria passes and when they finally come across, you know, a vaccine or whatever it is they're going to come up with to cure this, it's like, what are you going to have to show for it? So for a lot of us, it, this can be a very spiritual process where, you know, you self-educate, you self-heal, you self-reflect, you figure out who you really are, what you really want, and if the life you were living before this virus hit, um, was it real to you, was it authentic to you, was it your truth, and if it wasn't, how are you going to build from the ashes something that is going to, you know, be more in alignment with you, um, and be more authentic to who you truly are, so... Um, this is just talking about this on a collective, on a personal, individual level, as well as on like a government, on a politician level. Old things have to go. It's time for something new to come in. Okay. Uh, furthermore, with the Ace of Swords being here, this always talks about truth and clarity to me, as well as justice. Okay. So I do feel like a lot of things both are and will continue to come to um, the surface about the virus itself. Um, also, I feel like there there's a lot of uh, how do I say this without it sound like without it sounding conspiracy like it's like um, I feel like there's some confusion or there's possibly like some lies around this whole pandemic or just there's there's a lack of clarity here and I do feel like there's going to be news and information and truth that comes about in regards to the virus and just how we're going to be moving forward. I feel like this is a time where. Um, this is kind of forcing people to see behind the veil, okay, and I feel like that's what this truth and what this clarity is talking about, so whatever has kind of been lurking beneath the surface is going to come out. Um, I feel like this um, applies to the government, politicians, I feel like a lot of things are going to come out in the in the media about said, said government and said politicians, but I also feel like this will be truth coming out. Um, like personal truths, like I said, gaining that clarity on yourself, on your life, and how you're going to navigate moving forward. It's basically like it's like before maybe everyone was living in a haze, people were on autopilot, you know, you were just, um, you were just living the mundane life and you were just totally in the matrix. And it's like now the matrix is kind of suspended, you know, the factory that we call life and work and the mundane has stopped. And it forces you, like I said, to come to these, to come to this clarity, come to this truth on a personal level and on a collective level and on a, um, on the level of, like I said, the government and, and politicians. So I feel like just all around, everyone is having to, you know, face some truth, right? Also, this is the energy of, like I said, um, if it's the energy of, like, having to let things go, you're using the sword to cut it out, you know, cutting away things that are just not working for you. And honestly, I do feel like the virus has forced a lot of um, severing of ties in a variety of different ways, um, obviously on a mundane level, but also on a spiritual level, okay? So... It's like things that are not absolutely crucial for you are taking a back seat, okay? Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles being here, right next to the uh, Ace of Swords, this is also a card of like victory. If you hadn't noticed, Triumph and Success being right here. These two together just talk about um, the Eight of Pentacles is, is money, you know, what you're working on, what you're studying. Like I said, this can be a time where a lot of people are, you know, just like I said, self-healing, self-educating, and figuring out new ways to bring in financial stability and just to make do and to get by. And I feel like this is forcing us to have to realign our values, realign our reality to what works for us and what resonates with our, um, that resonates with who and what we are on a soul level, on an authentic level. It's like this is forcing us to leave behind fake and kind of just step into a new authentic way of living and also being more humble, okay? The Eight of Pentacles is always talking about just trying to get to that, that place where you can, you can flourish or you can what's the right word I don't want to say just flourish but where you can get to a place where you're not stressed out you know um, getting to an energy that doesn't suppress who you are basically so it's like this whole thing is here to just 
spiritually realign everybody because basically the earth at this time is rehabilitating herself and so because we are in inhabitants of the earth we're being forced to do so as well okay so that was a little long with long-winded but i want to clarify a few of these with tarot um these are all upright at the moment but i'm going to split half of the deck and reverse it so i'm gonna have an equal amount of reversals so just give me a minute and also what time is it is like i think it's like 3 a.m right now i couldn't sleep i can't sleep so i just figured i would do a message Spreading angels, angels of the collective. Can we please clarify the following cards for the collective in regards to the coronavirus and what it is that we need to know now? Provide us with spiritual clarity. Thank you, Ashay. Alright. So, can we please clarify time to go? Why is time to go here for the collective in regards to the coronavirus? Okay. Why is the Emperor here for the Collective? Why is the Ace of Swords here for the Collective? Damn, that's too many. <laughs> Why is the Ace of Swords here for the Collective? Can you please clarify further? Why is the Ace of Swords here for the Collective? And why is the Eight of Pentacles here for the Collective? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? I don't know whether I said the Eight of Swords or the Eight of Pentacles, but I meant the Eight of Pentacles, okay? And because I'm not sure what I said, I'm going to put this back. It was the reverse page of Wands. Um, let's see if it comes out again. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Okay. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for the Collective? Damn, we got 888. Okay, we gotta love it. Alright, so, clarifying time to go, we have the reverse ace of pentacles, and this is one of, let me see, this is one of two aces that we have in the reverse. Aces in the reverse generally mean either delays or something just um, not working out, right? So, with the reverse ace of pentacles clarifying time to go, this is talking about basically leaving behind things that are not successful, okay? Things that are not bringing you um, stability, okay? Like I said, this the, the virus is forcing everyone out of their comfort zones right now, and it's forcing, um, it's one causing delays. Like, a lot of, obviously, a lot of people are dealing with delays in regards to finances, but like I said, it's also forcing people to leave behind things that are not working, that are not prospering, that's not, that's not growing, that's not going to bring long-term um, stability or security people are being forced to do something new okay and to believe leave behind anything that's not um, like I said bringing that general energy of, of prosperity or growth or success you're having to just um, walk away from things even if you feel like it's a missed opportunity even if you feel like something here um, is only even if you feel like something here is being delayed and there can be successes like I said life um, mother earth whatever you want to call it people and the earth itself is just being forced to purge you know um not really needing to give your energy to things like i said that just aren't they're not benefiting you okay it's not bringing you any sense of prosperity whether it's financial whether it's spiritual whether it's emotional whether it's mental we're being forced to leave behind things that are not working out plain blank period um and of course this, this can't apply to finance but i'm, I'm talking about everything okay the pentacles aren't just money it talks about spiritual value as well um so yeah definitely leaving behind that kind of energy clarifying the emperor we have the reverse eight of cups okay the reverse eight of cups talks about a sense of avoidance a sense of loss you know not wanting to or possibly procrastinating with change trying to avoid something um clinging to the old Okay, with this clarifying the emperor card, like I said, the emperor, it can talk about the government, it can talk about politicians, people in authority. Um, it can talk about yourself, your own archetype of wanting and needing to, to, to have power and authority over whatever or, or, or forcing it. You know, maybe um, this can, can be like an abuse of power. Um, 
like I said, either on a on a government level or on a, on a personal level. This is just the energy where I I can't I honestly can't shake the whole government thing. So I feel like this is talking about um, people of high status, people of high caliber, people in high ranking positions in society. Um, maybe at some point abuse their power and it's like they're these same people these same high-ranking people in society could be trying to cling on to basically trying to like resist the change okay trying to I don't know if I can say that on YouTube I'm, I'm not trying to like I'm not trying to like shit on anybody or, or anything like that. It's just I can't shake the whole like I have this thought on a loop in my mind and and it won't stop repeating itself. So um, I feel like this is people in power trying to avoid their loss of power. OK, um, most likely it's the people who have maybe done some lying or manipulating to get what they want. It's like they're 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 trying to hold on to their power and their control and their rank in, in society or their status or, or their um, whatever power they have is like they're trying to cling on to it okay the reverse eight of cups they can talk about a certain level of procrastination or avoidance and it's like with the the emperor here it's like you're it's trying not to it, it wants to win and it's, it's clinging to the last shreds of power even though it's time to go and something here is not working okay so i feel like that's specifically talking about government politics and all of that like things being forced to change and people trying to manipulate things to maintain power and control this can also apply on a more personal level where you know you're being forced to finally face maybe your power issues your control issues um and just having to face yourself okay but yeah i got I'm not even going to talk about that anymore. Um, so clarifying the Ace of Swords, we have the Three of Wands. We have the Reverse Ace, um, Ace of Wands and then the Reverse Six of Pentacles. Okay, so like I said, whew, truth, truth and clarity. Okay, also justice. Like I said, if, if there are in fact politicians, people in the government who are trying to use underhanded tactics in order to avoid their loss of power. I do feel like there will be truth and clarity coming out about this. Like I said, I do feel like justice is being served. Karmic justice is being served. It's like, you know, um, um, Earth itself, our, our government, it, it's kind of like been off kilter for a while. And I feel like things are happening mon on a mundane level and on a spiritual level to force that change. And it's like... In order for that change to happen, it's like the all the ugly shit has to come to the surface. And I feel like that's what this Ace of Swords can be in a lot of instances for the collective. And like I said, I feel like truth coming out about government, politicians, um, the coronavirus itself. I feel like that's what this Ace of Swords is talking about. Um, with the three, <laughs> the three of Wands and the reverse Ace of Wands, it's like just, once again, that reverse Ace feeling like a sense of deflation. Like they're not feeling like something in here is successful. And with the reverse Ace of Wands, it's like a sense of boredom. Okay, things not taking off, not being interested, being feeling drained, just not having the energy to to deal with it anymore. Okay, in the reverse six of pentacles, this talks about a lack of balance, a lack of equality. People once again doing things with an ulterior motive. Um, people doing things only for what they can get in return. Um, power, power and control dynamics, okay? Somebody being overly dominant and someone being overly submissive. The give and take not being equal, okay? So once again, on a personal level for the collective, it's just like um, this virus is forcing you to rearrange your priorities and anything that is not absolutely crucial for your attention, your time, your money, your resources, it has to go. And then, like I said, on a more vast level of, you know, like I said, people in authority, I'm not going to name names, but you, you, you look at the news, you see people stepping down, CEOs, politicians, all that, you see it. Um, there's, there's an underlying reason for that, and I'm not going to get into it, but the reverse six of pentacles, it always talks about just a lack of fairness, okay? Um, people being selfish, people being stingy, people using their authority or using their generosity as a as a bargaining chip, as a way to have power, okay, like I said, with the emperor over here, government, um, an, an abuse of masculine energy, an abuse of power and authority, okay, truth and clarity coming out about that, and also, it's not working anymore, and, and people, 
if you <laughs> it's like collectively getting tired of the bullshit and mother earth is like getting tired of the bullshit as well okay because it there there's no balance here as far as on a mundane level like just how we treat the earth is not fair <laughs> you know we we need the earth the earth doesn't need us and i think we forget that um and then like i said on a more um mundane but higher up level as far as government and politicians we all know that politics and the government is not always fair you know so it's like the justice or the truth or the clarity is coming out to balance those scales okay it's like this is what um I know it's kind of like it's all a part of the spiritual plan. I'll just put it that way. But definitely. Um, clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, positive movement for it. We have the reverse Nine of Cups and the reverse Eight of Pentacles. Well, so once again, um, working to leave behind things that are not bringing you satisfaction. Okay. Um, leaving behind things that are not successful. Things that you just have no desire or drive to invest in anymore you're and actually this is the eight of pentacles twice now that i'm seeing it hmm you pay attention to that okay so we have the same card clarifying so working on working on um like i said putting all the bullshit that's coming out in these cards behind us basically okay um the reverse nine of cups is always talking about a certain level of dissatisfaction and needing to leave that behind. And like I said, the eight of pentacles, it talks about working on, um, we can talk about studying, whatever it is. It's like you're trying to master something, whether you're trying to master a new business, whether you're trying to master um, your studies. I know that a lot of people, studies have been postponed, you know, from elementary school all the way up to college, like school has been canceled, right? So um, basically still doing that even if you are in quarantine and you're not going you can still educate yourself you can still heal yourself you can still work on your ideas you can still work on your business this is that energy but in order to fully use this energy you have to leave behind all the things that are not satisfactory and all the things that are not working and that you have no drive or ambition to invest in anymore so that you can like I said focus and pour all of yourself into your studies into your new business into whatever it is that you're nurturing while you know, we're in quarantine and while you're trying to figure out um, what's next for you, you know, how do you bounce back? That's what this energy is talking about. But in order to do that, this has to be left behind, okay? Because it's not fulfilling to you. Otherwise, the Nine of Cups would be in the upright. So over here, we have the bottom of the deck. We have Orphaned in Reverse, okay? So like I said, um, leaving behind toxic energies, people, places, things, situations that make you feel like you don't have enough or you aren't enough this is kind of like having to it's like this is all, almost like a spiritual test to see if you know for those people who are spiritual it's like okay well how strong is your faith are you going to be able to pull yourself through this or are you going to lose faith and lose hope or are you going to feel like you're hopeless it's like having to conquer that feeling um you basically it's like you are for the for those who are spiritual it's like if you're spiritual um I don't want to put it that way because it's kind of restricted, but it's kind of like a test of faith for the spiritual people. And then for the people who aren't spiritual, it's like a, a wake-up call, okay? Um, it's like you are, you're seeing what you're, what you're made of. It's kind of like you're being pushed to the limit. You're being um, like backed into a corner. So what are you going to come out with, you know, and kind of taking yourself out of that, that lower vibrational energy, not letting the mass hysteria um, affect you in such a way that you lose all of your hope all of your ambition and you just um, let fear take over it's about needing to kind of conquer that okay so we have that <laughs> and now I'm going to try and wrap this up divine hair powers guys and this is my fingers of the collective but we do have 888 here that's actually good you know um, even if I, I, I honestly feel like things are not going to go back exactly to how they were before. I feel like a, a paradigm is ending and something new is kind of taking over. But um, with the eighth thing here, I do feel like that abundance and prosperity will come in other ways. Even if it doesn't show up financially first, I feel like there is potential for you to once again mentally, emotionally, spiritually nurture yourself. Because when you are abundant and and prosperous within your energy, within your mind, within your emotion, within your spirituality, you will automatically attract that in your environment. 
okay so i do see abundance and prosperity being here for the collective like i said because this is a time where people can capitalize on their ideas on the businesses that they wanted to start but for whatever reason they didn't you know because they were too tired or because you were just too plugged into the matrix like i said this is a time where if you <laughs> you play your cards right you can come out on top and you can come out with a new a new way to make money if you tap into your creativity if you tap into you know who you really are and what you really want and what your true goals are okay um but other than that i do feel like this is talking about a more of a mental emotional and spiritual abundance and prosperity just because everybody is getting a t getting a break collectively you know everyone being quarantined it's like you're you're forced to face yourself you're forced to reevaluate and um like i said if it's done right that can bring you a lot of intangible um, prosperity and abundance. So, didn't mean to ramble, but it's funny because I'm, I'm kind of like, I get a lot of visuals, and sometimes it's hard to put those visuals into words. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, um, what, what other messages do we have for the collective at this time in regards to the coronavirus and just how we move forward? What is everyone really to know collectively? Divine Hill Powers, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Divine Ancestors, and Spirit Guides of the Collective. What else does the Collective need to know about the coronavirus and how we move forward? It's like the cards. Okay. Alright, we got three, and they are like so fucking on point. Okay, so bottom of the deck, we have big picture thinking, Pleiades energy, visionary, inspired idea. So like I said, um, if you up until this point, or even just starting at this point, if you're having ideas, if you're having downloads, if you're having really good ideas for how to make money for businesses, for just new ways to improve yourself and new ways to live, you're needing to nurture that, okay? Um, big picture thinking is like I said. Um, even though <laughs> this virus is what it is, it has its spiritual effects and it does coincide with what Mother Earth has been trying to tell us to do for a very long time, which is to, you know, TLC, TLC to ourselves, to our energy, to Earth, to those who are around us, just needing to slow down and make sure that you're in alignment um, because you're not good to yourself or anyone else if your energy is off or if you're not happy that bleeds into every aspect of your life so it is so crucial to be in tune with yourself and who you are and what your authentic truth and what your authentic self is and what, what you really like what you really resonate with what you're really about this is time to to nurture that and those ideas and that new sense of self and that new sense of um or just that fresh start that we're basically all getting right now <laughs> Um, three cards are flipped over together, cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. That's pretty self-explanatory. So like I said, this virus has forced everybody to sit down and it pretty much swept across the collective and caught most people off guard. Not the spiritual people, but it, caused mo it caught most people off guard. Um, and it, like I said, it's forcing you to surrender that hangman energy where things are out of your control and you have to see see things from a new perspective you have to start over you have to do something different um and and having to accept that and not fight it okay also <laughs> second card we have i'm sorry defenselessness writing past wrongs and uprooting so once again it kind of goes back to this time to go card it's like everyone is collectively being uprooted from things that are not successful things that are holding you back things that are stagnant things that are not truly resonating with who you are at a, at a core level you're being uprooted from that um and, and also i do feel like this can coincide with like like i said whoever the, the the powers that be whoever could have abused their power during their reign it's like this is kind of karma um like karmic justice thing things are happening to balance the scales you know I feel like mm, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. Uh, writing past wrongs, like I said, that Ace of Swords, that that Emperor card. I, I feel like that's just truth and clarity coming in. And like I said, um, karmically for the collective, things were off. Okay, people who were needing to be humbled weren't being humbled, and so life happened, and it humbled everybody. You know. Um, 
I don't really know how to say that in a politically correct way, so I'm not going to say that. Uh, the last card is karmic relationships, polarity, soul growth, conflict. Like I said, this is a time that's forcing people to spiritually evolve, okay? What are you about? That's essentially what this is, karmic relationships. Um, <laughs> I actually feel like for the collective, a lot of things as far as like the government could have been karmic, like that we were just dealing with. Um, I, I haven't expounded on this yet on my channel, but I'm, I'm going to. I'm actually going to record one of the videos after this one. And we have Saturn, what is it, Saturn conjunct Pluto. That's so karmic. <laughs> That's so karmic because Saturn governs karma and Pluto governs being uprooted in conflict and destroying things so that they can be rebuilt from the ashes. And, and, and Saturn is like the grandfather and the disciplinarian of all the planets. And I feel like, like I said that karmic justice is coming through and it's forcing everybody to just reevaluate. And like I said, karmic relationships are being forced out of your life because it's something that's not good for you, you know? These are karmic changes that are happening in the world because they're long overdue, okay? Um, damn, I'm not gonna, I could go on forever with just those two cards, so I'm not gonna do that because I'll go into an astrology rant and that's for another video. Uh, Okay, Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. Do we have any more messages for the collective in regards to the coronavirus? All right, soul family. Also, like I said, because you, um, we are leaving behind so many different things, relationships, situations, jobs, things that are just not in alignment, things that are karmic, things that drain us, things that are not working. Um, it's, it's leaving room for new energy to come in. People, places, and things that you resonate with are allowed to come in now because you're, you're being forced away from um, the, that karmic energy that's been holding you back, okay? Whether it's a job, whether it's a person, whether it's a relationship, a karmic relationship, it, it knows no bounds. It could literally be anything, okay? You can have a karmic habit. <laughs> so, yeah, bottom of the deck, break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. This is like a new, this is like a, a start over or a blank canvas for the collective. It's like I said, it's what you're made of. So now we're kind of in a void, hangman kind of energy. We're on a pause. So what are you going to do when we're off pause? We're not going to be like this forever. What happens next? You know, kind of depends on you and and what you're made of and your ideas and, and how you connect with yourself and your path and your truth so Archangel Michael do you have any messages for the collective at this time okay um, Archangel Michael is an angel that you can tap into it's he's basically offering his assistance <laughs> so needing to have more strength or courage or resilience or um, like just angelic protection because we're going through such hysterical times that he's a wonderful energy to call on. He's very protective. He's very strong and courageous and can help you through a hard time. So definitely call on that energy. Angel Michael, do you have any more messages for the collective? Okay. It says spirit is in charge. I don't. I don't really use the term God when I'm praying or connecting with spirit, but. Um, anytime you see this card, I'm going to say spirit is in charge, okay? Um, basically, calling on divine, calling on spirit, calling on Archangel Mike, whatever your beliefs are, tapping, to, tapping into whatever spiritual reserve that you have is, like, opportune right now. Like I said, for those who are spiritual, this is a test of your faith and what you're made of. And honestly, even on a mundane level, this is a test of what we're all made of because this is this is kind of a, this is an obstacle for a lot of us. And it's like, how are we going to bounce back, like I said earlier? But also realizing, like I said, that things, this has a spiritual purpose. And that spiritual purpose is to realign ourselves and realign the earth and just for us to be more in alignment as a collective, okay? Um, in order for... In order for us to like be in harmony with the earth, we have to ascend with her. Because like I said, earth is healing herself. It doesn't need us. <laughs> so it's like if you if you fight against earth, I don't really know how successful you're going to be in the long run. But basically having to keep up with earth, okay? Because the plan is not fucking with us right now. It's really not. So anything else collective needs to know? Okay. 
your family, your children, watched over, okay? But basically, um, rely on whatever spiritual beliefs that you have right now. It's really, it's really time to be um, strong and authentic in who you are. Because life is trying to see what everyone is made of. I'm not going to use this deck like I thought just because this video is already almost 40 minutes long. So, do we have any more messages for the collective? Divine Head of Power, Spreading Angels, Archangels, Divine Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Any more messages for the collective? Ooh, those were two? <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Ooh, okay. So, can I get one more card? said one damn it okay anyways we have father sky i've never seen this card before it says trust in the unknown like i said it's a test of your faith your trust you're trusting yourself your trust your trust in spirit you're trusting your path trusting your soul what 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 you resonate with trusting that trusting that small voice in you that wants to reassure you and guide you trust it okay and like i said trust it everything is happening for a spiritual purpose it's for us to evolve okay because a lot of us are on a very a lot of us are on a very low vibration and so something has to happen to like to snap us out of it you know not everyone will but a lot will not everyone will snap out of the fear but a lot of people will that's that's kind of what we're being called to do you know because even as as bad as things are or as bad as things could get the fear, the panic itself doesn't change anything. You know, you still have to remain grounded. You still have to try and think clearly. And having that spiritual foundation, having that trust just in life and trust that things are going to be okay is the difference between you making it through and you fucking yourself over because fear is taking over. And typically when you're hysterical, when you're panicking, you're not making good decisions. <laughs> so it's about kind of like controlling that and not letting it control you. Um, second card is Lady Enjoy Growth and Reap the Rewards. These two wanted to come out together. Okay, so it's like trusting in the unknown, trusting in the process of it all and using this time wisely. It can bring a lot of, like I said, spiritual, emotional, mental prosperity and eventually that will manifest as material abundance and prosperity, but it has to start within, okay? Uh, other two cards we got are the Oracle. Wait for important information. Like I said, with that Ace of Swords, I feel like there will be more information coming out. I do feel like they're going to have a vaccine here pretty soon. Um, and like I said, I do feel like there's going to be some truth about um, politics, the government, and how that affects this particular situation. I feel like there's going to be a lot of truths being revealed on a variety of different levels, um, collectively, internally, individually, all of that. Uh, Oracle is wait for important information, okay? So... Pay attention once again to your guides, to yourself, to what your soul wants, but also keep an eye out for, um, just keep an eye out for the truth, okay? <laughs> and, and sometimes the, the truth is stranger than fiction, and I'll just leave it there. And the other card that we got is Star Ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. I cannot make this shit up. Cannot, okay? So, these kind of go together. Where is this other one? These all go together. Literally, they're all saying the same exact fucking thing. Okay. Time to leave your comfort zone. It's time to leave behind all of that old shit and the old paradigm. Okay. You're being divinely guided. You have spirit. You have Archangel Michael here to, to help you. But you have to trust in yourself in the process and in whatever um, spiritual belief system that you have. Okay. <sighs> And I'll pull one more card. Alright. Can I get one card from this deck? For the collective. Pretty please. Okay. Receiving. And this is another nine. Okay. So once again. Um, all of these spiritual cards. This is just receiving like i said like those ideas those downloads those inner truths um receiving guidance from spirit from archangel michael from whatever you believe in and being in an energy of just being receptive you know the once again like i said the hangman energy is kind of what we're in right now where we're forced to be on the sidelines where we're forced to reflect where we're forced to, to pause and it's like time stops that's kind of the energy that we're in right now and that's because we're needing to be receptive receptive 
before we were so busy going to work nine to five mundane this this that does we got this schedule two weeks out two weeks out. you don't get time to just sit and be and think and, and actually face yourself and what you want and your fears and this is a, an energy of just being receptive to all of that even if it doesn't feel good needing to work through it because um, kind of like tackling your inner demons gives you that strength and that resolve and that resilience so that you can deal with the external shit. If you're too scared to deal with yourself, you're only going to last so long in life because life is always going to force you out of your comfort zone and you can only run from yourself for so long and I feel like this is collectively forcing everybody to kind of look at themselves in the mirror and I'm kind of thinking of the Michael Jackson song, Man in the Mirror. I feel like that's what we're all being forced to do right now, so... Be receptive, okay? Be receptive for new ideas, new creativity, new solutions, new ways of living and being and expressing yourself. Be receptive to it, okay? Anyways, <laughs> um, this reading actually didn't go as long as I thought it would, so I'm kind of happy. Uh, I hope that this was a bit of a reassuring message for you guys, for the collective. Um, honestly, I, I feel like there there have been enough tarot readers online who have given, like, um, extra details about you know how things are going to play out with the coronavirus I kind of just wanted to expound more so on the more so on the spiritual aspect of it you know I have some different things or beliefs about the coronavirus and I, I don't really want to get into those on here but I just wanted to give kind of like an uplifting message you know um, I do feel like with these cards things are getting better getting better um, we may feel, <laughs> we may get, things may get a little bit worse before they get better, but I do feel like ultimately we're going to pretty much come out on the other side with things being, um, better off than maybe we're expecting it to be. Okay. So I do feel like, um, the old paradigm is over and we're coming into a new paradigm and I do think that things will turn over and become better faster than we think. But I do feel like while we're in the, the midst of the storm, the chaos, things may get a little bit more troublesome before they get better. But ultimately, I do feel like with these cards, that things will get better. It's just like a lot of old energy has to leave first. Okay. So anyways, once again, I hope that this resonated. I hope that this made sense. I feel like I was super rambly, but ultimately, um, this is a message that I just felt compelled to do and it came from the heart. So um, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.